Hey, what value of x makes the equation negative 6x plus 3 equal 21 true? Well, first off, you have to undo things. Here you have a multiply and an add. So I'm going to undo the add by subtracting 3 from each side. And they're both negative, so I'm going to add the numbers and get a negative 24. Those cancel out. And I'm multiplying by negative 6. That's not a minus 6. That's multiply by negative 6. So I'm going to divide, because the opposite of multiply is divide by negative 6. And a negative 24 divided by negative 6 means the answer is 4. Now, y'all, you can test this with your Inspire calculators. First off, you have to make sure you're on a calculate page. Right? And then you hit menu. And then you're going to hit option 3, algebra. And then you're going to hit numerical solve. And you'll have something pop up like this here. All right? And you're going to type in the equation. Because now, once again, here's a picture. You hit your calculate screen. You have to hit the menu button, which is highlighted um, right here in the red. And then you hit option three, algebra. And then you hit this option one, numerical solve. Okay. And then you're going to type in the problem that we had there, the negative six times x plus three equals negative 21. And you have to put a comma in the variable because we're solving for x. We have to use the letter x. And it tells me the answer is four, which is what we got right there. It should kind of look like that. You have to type it in exactly as it's written with a comma and the variable. So you hit enter, and it tells you that once again the answer is four. It's where you can check your work. Or do the work the first time that way, unfortunately. So same thing here. First off, let's we get a multiply and a subtract. So we're going to undo the subtract by adding 7 to each side. And 23 plus 7 is 30. That's, a, that's not a minus 3x. That's a negative 3 times x. So I'm now going to divide by a negative 3. And divide, that side cancels. And 30 divided by negative 3 is a negative 10. And once again, I can go to the calculator. Don't forget, you have to be in a calculate page. Hit menu, option 3, algebra numerical solve. And you have to type in the equation exactly as it is with a comma. And if I was using the letter Y, I would use the letter Y here. Whatever letter I'm using is the one I have to use here. And I hit enter, and it tells me it's also negative 10, so I did it correctly. Let's do one more here. Oh, this one's got a distributed property part on it. So here I'm going to take 5 times the 2X and 5 times 3 and rewrite it as 10X plus 15 equals negative 65. First off, you have to simplify your equation before you can solve it. So now I have a multiply and add, so I'm going to subtract 15 from each side. And a negative 65 and negative 15 are both negative, so I'm going to add them. You get negative 80. The 15s cancel out. I'm multiplying by 10, so I'm going to divide by 10. Negative 80 divided by 10 is a negative 8. And then once again, if I go to my calculator and do that menu, and calculate menu, option 3, numeric 1, and you type it in exactly as it's written up here, with the comma, and I maybe wish I'd chosen a different letter one time. But this is letter X, so I'm using X. If I know Y, I would have used Y, and it tells me the answer is negative 8. And then one last problem here. We have a distributed property on both sides. And don't forget, all that negative means is it's negative 1 times each of those. So it changes it to a positive 3X to a negative 3X. The negative 8 to a positive 8. The 4 to an X. 4 times X is X. And 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. And what I'm going to do here is this here. I like that I can only solve on one side. And because I have a negative x here, I'm going to add this 3x here. I have 7x. Now it's like I've been working. 7 times the x and a minus. I'm simply going to add the 20 to each side. That cancels out. 8 and 20, 28. I'm multiplying by 7 to the x side. So I'm going to undo that by dividing by 7. And once again, I can go test it in the calculator. Calculate menu. Option 3. Algebra 1. Numerical solve. Type it in. This time, notice the extra parentheses. You have to have the whole thing in one parenthesis, so these extra parentheses have to be added. For And you can have more than one thing on the equal besides what the number is. Enter, and it works. I got also the number for it. Biggest thing is make sure you put the comma and the variable, and it all has to be in parentheses if you're using the insol from the TI Inspire.